everybody, I'm Keychain. This video is going to be a kind of a beginner's starter's guide um, for Lost Island Beta. And it's what to do first when you land inside the Lost Island. So the very, very first thing, it's going to make you do a little tutorial and some quests to kind of show you how things go. But one of the very first things you should do is not out here on the map. That's the first thing people are going to start doing is thinking on, they need to get it on the map. Well, I'll show you the most important thing in my opinion, and that's clicking right here on your queen, there's this new enhancement button. And when you do that, you've got the opportunity to enhance all of these buildings. Um, actually, so jumping ahead of myself, you're gonna have to earn a little bit of resin, which you should earn from doing the first chapter of starter quests, but you need to, after you've gotten a little bit of resin, pick whatever troop type you are and enhance that building because you're going to gain the largest boost of your seasonal ants at the start from enhancing your nests. So looking at this level zero for guardians, for example, going from zero to level one, it takes four minutes and 29 seconds and only 30 resin is going to start my season hourly output of guardian ants at 20. So right off the bat, you start earning 20 ants per hour guardians. And as you level that up, it goes up by, you know, five each time. And, you know, the first couple of jumps are the best. And then on top of that, you gain some from other things. Now, let me show you where I'm gaining mine from. When I click this, see right here, this is what I'm talking about. Collecting resource nodes takes a while because you have to march there, occupy the node, march back, and then you start building it up. Um, but if you're starting the anthill enhancement, that jumps right up to 20 right off the bat. And then as you enhance that, you can get on the map and start doing things. So my personal opinion, what you want to do first is start that very first anthill enhancement, that four million, that four minute enhancement, and get it done, get it out of the way. So you start building ants. Now these ants are really strong, but you're not allowed to use them for a while. And I'll show you that real quick. See this calm before the storm? After this milestone is when you're allowed to use these special ants and marches. So it gives you about a week to build up. The very first milestone takes a day. The second milestone, the solidified cooperation, is a two day. Now if ant hill enhancement is a three day, or another two day, like you can see the pattern there, that's five days, seven days, maybe 10. It might even be two weeks until you're allowed to use calm before the storm, until these ants are actually allowed to be in marches. So it gives you two weeks to build them up. Right now I'm at 78 per hour, not a ton. I've got to start building that up and I need it because this is a new account and the stuff on the map is tough. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. You've got all of these resource tiles. Now, after you've started that first research and you want to start, you know, exploring on the map, first thing you want to do is see if you're even strong enough to kill a level 16 um, special insect. Because if you are, you can start earning resin 20 a day from killing these level 16 insects. Um, if you're not strong enough, going back into your enhancing, that helps you get strong fast. And I'll show you quickly, going jumping back into this, look at some of the jumps you get um, for increasing this. So right away you're getting, you know, three stats here, all defense, all health, all attack. Um, going into something like this, you're gaining from 4.8 to 6% health. Health is very, very strong in this game, by the way. Um, so you're gaining extra health here gaining tons of attack here from the evolution center, 3% um, per upgrade. And then 3% defense per upgrade here. You're gonna gain, these other ones are kind of conditional, but then look at like your pro rally center, gaining big chunks of stats for these quick researches. Um, so start doing some research if you need to, to try and kill the higher level threats. Um, and you'll want to do these little quests, the little side quests to give you, uh, because it will give you these lucky fruit. So see here, completing this, I think the first one I did gave me like a thousand fruit. So what do you do with the fruit? How did I get my initial resin? 
So there's a new thing called the Season Store. If I can find it, it's not in here anymore. So they moved it. It's in here now. Season Store. So when you come into the Season Store, you can buy 500 resin for just 375 fruit. And I recommend doing that anytime you're able to research but you don't have resin. Come in here and buy some. Um, eventually, you'll get to the point where you've researched enough. You can start killing threats. Uh, and you'll be able to actually buy the things in the store. And you've got a week to buy these important things. Um, so right off the bat, the, the first thing that's going to be important is getting your research going so you're stronger, so you can help contribute to your alliance and towards your own progression. Because it's tough when you first jump in here, unless you're like a super strong player. It's, it's tough when you first get in here. I'm in Anthill 18. And keep in mind I'm newer, but let me show you my, my first march. So I've got an 86,000 march. I've only got two slots, right? It's 474,000 power. I cannot kill a level two um, anything. <laughs> like the, the soil, um, diamonds, any of that, I can't kill it. And I can't kill a level 16 insect. Um, let me pull these back, and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get obliterated. Um, it's not something I really want to do and I've done some upgrades so maybe maybe I'll surprise myself and I'll actually be able to kill one um, so we'll start those coming in and in a minute we'll come back and actually attack that now as an alliance you want to join Lost Island before you collect any of your daily tasks because these first few shells for your daily tasks now give clay and clay is very important um Everybody needs to get their shells done and contribute clay to the Alliance because Alliance towers are expensive and clay is the limited resource. So right now everyone's kind of stuck limited on clay. So you need everybody to participate and do their dailies to earn more clay. Now looking at an Alliance and, and what you do as an Alliance. So let me go check this out down here. This was our initial starting territory. And you can see nobody's, not many people are down here, but this is our initial starting territory, our Alliance Blockhouse. And one of the really cool things about the Blockhouse is it's also your Warzone construction while you're inside of Lost Island Beta, which is nice because you no longer have to compete with the entire server for these slots. It's just your Alliance. So you're almost guaranteed to get the top level of either Cultivator, Raider, or Herder, depending on when you go in and how patient you are, because... You know, if 10 people go in, it only takes five hours. Another 10 can go in five hours later and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Not everybody's going to be the same spec. So it's going to be pretty easy to get everybody top rewards as long as they're patient. Now, your main starting territory is this border here. See this solid orange border? So that's your main starting zone, right? And then you start building towers off of this. So you're going to start building towers going off of this main zone to start and get landmarks. So let me show you here. So see this little Alliance Tower right here and it creates this square of Alliance territory. So that is how we get towards things like this, the layer that give us additional bonuses and additional rewards. So we start building towards layers and then we expand across the map. Um, showing you something else. This is something that we didn't talk about before but this, you know, how in my other video, if you watch my other videos, I said go tip to tip. I don't mean like this because this leaves an opening for an enemy to come and jump across you and cut your lines, basically. The way to go tip to tip is to just barely overlap a square or half a square like they've done right here. This is correct placement. This is how a tower should be. This right here maximizes your distance, but this is very dangerous. So don't do this if you're in alliance, you know, enemy zone and you're starting to get towards fighting, this is dangerous. In the starting zone, probably not so dangerous, but once you start getting towards fighting some enemies, it's going to make a pretty big difference. Uh, and it's, you know, it's something you're going to want to pay attention to because they'll be able to come in from, say, north and south, build a tower right here, jump across and keep going or just cut your lines. Um, so this is something that you want to avoid. You want to force them to have to try and attack your tower so that you get an alert that it's happening rather than let them cut across you. 
Okay, um, now that you've got those things started, if you can kill the level 16 or 17, 17 insects, you want to start doing that. Uh, and these hornets that are on the map right here, these don't spawn right away. Those are, and now I lost it. There it is. So hornets are special after the first day's milestone, and they give boss fruit and resin, and they give these resource chests. And a lot of them. Look at how many that gives. 75 to 90 of the Hornet resource chests. I don't know what's in them. I'm hoping it's something good, but I'm guessing it's decent. Uh, I don't know that I'll actually be able to kill a Hornet to find out. But first, let me see if I can even kill this death stick. Um, let's get all of my ants, as many as I can get here. And that's... That's all of it. I'm, I ran out of ants because <laughs> I made a mistake when I got in here. Uh, I did not have any hospital capacity, and I didn't realize how strong these insects were going to be. And I sent four marches out, and I killed off like 40,000 troops. And for a new account, that hurts. So I'm down like 40,000 tier 6 carriers that I need. So let's attack this devil stick and see what happens. Um, I wasn't able to kill it yesterday, but today could be slightly different. One, because it's so close to my castle, that makes a difference. Uh, and I'll show you why. See right here where it says station troops difficulty plus 3.3%. Well, as you get farther away from your castle, that goes up. So look at this jumping spider. I'm not that far away from my anthill, but now it's up to 34.9%. So say I scrolled up here and I was like, hmm, I want to kill, you know, this guy. Well, now it's 79.3% um, difficulty bonus. So the farther away you get from your anthill, the harder it gets. And it doesn't look like I was able to beat the death stick. So still not quite there. Um, yeah, I, I didn't kill enough. I'm close. I got closer than I did yesterday. But you can see that it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit till I'm strong enough. Um, and I don't, I have less stats than, <laughs> than the devil stick. So I got to keep working on that, getting my stats up, enhancing buildings, um, and continuing to improve my march. So for now, I'm stuck doing level 15s, uh, which means I won't be able to kill a hornet unless hornets are easier for some reason. I doubt that they would do that, but it's worth a shot, right? I have less troops than I did before, but let's let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Um, so some of the other things in here that you want to start looking at as far as um, well, let me let me go back to the alliance towers. Let me show you what we're doing here. Um, one of the things we're doing is we're building up. You want to start building towards as an alliance. Building towards these layers uh, and other landmarks to start claiming them. And once you get there, this one's a level 5 layer. It is hard to kill. It takes a lot of teamwork because we've got some of the strongest players in the game. And it took like 20 of them, full bars of stamina on all four marches to kill these layers. Because they're only doing like 1 or 2% per attack right now. And later on, we'll be stronger, but right now, it's rough. So if you're a lower level alliance or a newer alliance, um, you really need to coordinate when you're going to attack a lair so that everybody's online and everybody has stamina. Um, some of the other things to do when you first land in here, have fun. <laughs> Explore. Look around. Um, it's a new map. It's cool. And you can go and scope out the enemy. You can see what they're up to, how they're doing. So these guys have two layers. We've got three, so we're technically ahead of them as far as progression. These guys only have one, although they're building towards their second. These guys have three, and they've built towards another, this here. So the sand total remains level eight. They built up to it and they're going to pass it because 27 million station troops is really hard to kill probably not ready for that yet so looking at some others though they only have one they've got two and they've got two and these guys have three and they're almost going to get their fourth so these guys are doing pretty well too these teal guys um 
but yeah, it's right now you can't fight other alliances, I don't think. Let's go take a look at a at a tunnel and see if the tunnels are open or if they have a timer on them. So in bonus I don't know what that means, the in bonus. Um Duration of station troops. It doesn't say anything about there being a, a timer for lockout on this. Um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if it was locked out. Like you weren't allowed to attack it until like you know week week two or something like that. But if it's not locked, I mean technically we could start building towards that tunnel and come have some fights with these guys. Um, we could also start building towards these other tunnels, but they're farther away. If we really wanted to fight. This teal alliance, they're close. We could go have a fight with them pretty easily. Um, when I'm on my main and it's time to do Lost Island, I want to fight. I want to go and fight people. I want to kill their towers. I want to steal their resources. Like, we're we're gonna have some fights. Um, but in here, I'm the little guy, not my show. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, one last thing to show you before I think. I end the video. Um, you can occupy 20 resource nodes. So the thing that you need to do when you land, after you've started your research and maybe started killing a couple of things, is you need to figure out which type of resource has your type of troop. So plants do carriers, diamonds do everybody, um, sand is shooters, and I think meat is guardians but basically you want to occupy that resource type and it's going to slowly start giving you that troops so this one gives me two per hour if i was able to do a level two it would give four per hour a level three gives six per hour um, a level five gives nine per hour so the higher level of mines soil sand things that you can kill the better um, troops you can start doing and as you build up you can drop lower level tiles so if you have a bunch of level one tiles and suddenly you're strong enough to kill level twos you can start building level twos and when you want to get rid of a level one you hit the little x on it and you can hit retreat and it takes 30 minutes but after 30 minutes it's no longer in your control it drops off your list and then you can start collecting new resource tiles. Um, I'm interested to see if I might be able to kill a level two. Um, I want to try because yesterday I couldn't. So I want to give it another shot and see what happens. We're going to heal this up, speed it. And then once that March comes back, we'll try and kill a level two so I can show you kind of how difficult it is. Um, a lot of these guys were able to kill. Oh, so I failed on the Hornet. Looks like, yep, I didn't kill barely anything. So the Hornet, what kind of what kind of stats does the Hornet have? Higher than the um, the other guy that was close to me. So it's definitely going to be a little while till I can kill these. I'm hoping to have my stats up there in the next you know week or two. But by the time I'm able to do that, we'll probably be able to start using these special S tier troops to have tons of attack, and then I'll probably be able to actually kill some and start contributing more. All right, so I'm gonna try and take a level two diamond because that's what I see that I actually want. Um, diamond does carriers and I think they do all of them. And I think you have to be careful which ones you select. Yeah, so different diamonds have different um, types of troop. So you got to be careful when you're taking diamonds. So this one has carriers, which is what I want. So hopefully I can actually do this. Probably not, but it would be nice if I could. And then we'll see what happens. So this one has a 12.9% increased difficulty because of how far away I am. There's 105,000 troops here, which is more than the troops I'm even sending. Uh, so I have a feeling I'm going to lose. We'll find out in like 45 seconds here. Um, while we're in there, I'll do these other quick things. But 
I mean, there's a lot to learn in this new event. I'm going to have other videos. I'll cover the rewards and strategy for fighting and things like that. Um, but right now, I don't have the opportunity to really do that. Um, so we'll just, you know, I'll do what I can. And that's covering what I know and what I can at the moment. And you can watch these videos and live through me. And I will be doing live streams. I was supposed to go live today, but it didn't happen. So I'm doing a, a video instead. Um, but let's see what happens. And we lost. We didn't even get close. Look, we barely scratched them. And now I've got 32,000 severely injured troops. So a level two tile, much, much too strong for my poor new castle. Look at that. That's rough. Like that is getting destroyed. And when that happens, it gives you this nice little message that says it recommends you have at least tier seven troops to challenge a level two resource node, tier eight for level three, tier nines for level four, tier tens for level five, and then it wants you to have the S tier new troops for six, seven, eight, and nine level tiles. So it also says to improve your stats by enhancing um, and improving some of your other things. So, you know, it is what it is. I like how they put packs in there as a quick improvement. Um, but really, that's it for now. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I really want the questions so that I know what people want to see. Um, what type of videos do you want out of Lost Island? Like, what are you looking for? What information are you after? Um, if nobody leaves comments, then I just have to do my best to guess and see what people want to know. Uh, and then we'll figure it out from there. So remember to hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.